All right, guys, so I want to show in this video how to troubleshoot an open neutral or there are times a lot of people use this um, tester where it will show hot and ground reversed. So what we're going to do, very first thing, we need to make sure that the breaker is on, right? So a lot of times you'll make sure that the breaker is on, you will try to reset it, it's on, and when you come, plug in the outlet, uh, the power tester like this, it's gonna show, again, uh, open neutral, one light on, or it's gonna show uh, this red light is on and this, this one is on. So which means you don't have a power, I mean, you don't have a 120 volts in this circuit. But half of the circuit is working. So you come take a look at this one, which is in the same circuit and this is the correct way, which means two lights are on right here, which means properly grounded. It does have both hot and neutral working, so it's a working outlet. But these are two in the same circuit. So a lot of times people keep looking into this, but in reality, you might have the wiring. A lot of people also try to use a, a sniffer that we call basically the tester hot tester where the hot wire of this outlet will show you that it has a power for this circuit to work properly both neutral wire and the hot wire is equally important so and if your circuit has been working just fine and all of a sudden you have this situation where where uh, you have uh, you have the situation hot ground reversed and open neutral so what you're looking for is you're not necessarily uh, you may not necessarily have the problem in the outlet that uh, that 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 are testing this way because you might have many outlets so if it's a 15 amp circuit uh, breaker I mean you will have around like eight devices you might have a couple switches and you might have five six outlets so and the thing is um, there are different outlets could be wired different ways sometimes you will have a loose wire if it's backstab like this you will have a burnt out neutral or loose neutral right here but in most cases a lot of people just ignore the working outlet but this is where your problem could be because these outlets are wired in a daisy chain and what I do is I pull out each outlet and I use a voltmeter to test the voltage. So in an outlet that you don't have a power, uh, but you have this hot ground reversed. So when you try to read the, basically I'm trying to read between neutral and the hot and it's showing 35 volts. That's an open neutral. But if I try to read between the neutral and the ground, I have nine volts. But if I try to read between hot and ground, it's gonna show me that it has 118 volts, which means I have open neutral somewhere. And the problem, you have to search for the problem by basically going through this device, uh, plug into devices and locate the breaker okay so very first thing a lot of people have pretty messy electrical panels so look locate the breaker turn it off and pay attention to when you turn off this non-working outlet what other outlets go out that were working previously so it's usually if it's in the same chain i mean it's uh, it's in the same room or it could be in another room as well multiple rooms and you will be going opening up the so we're gonna disconnect it we're gonna basically turn off the breaker right so we're gonna turn off the breaker and we will be looking into each outlet that was working and usually problem is in one outlet so when you pull the outlet a lot of people look at it okay so the wiring is good here but Many people don't realize that electricians do um, pigtailing like this, where this electrical box 
which is being used as a junction box where it has power coming in and getting out to two other outlets. It's going to two other places. So you have to inspect this right here manually. You will be going, taking a look and you will realize that when this connection was made with this wire net, one wire was barely making a connection and it was working for quite some time, but then it just got disconnected. So this is the, I mean, this is very simple, okay? This is a uh, most common one that happens inside of the electrical breakers, I mean, electrical, uh, this is the most common scenario that I see when I go uh, troubleshoot electrical problem where people don't have a power in electrical outlets. This is the case, okay? So use multimeter if you have, uh, if you don't have, this is fine as well, but for the most part, your job is to locate the problem visually because this is, uh, mo for the most part, this is where uh, wirings fail, where you have multiple connections in the junction box, whether it's being made with a pigtailing like this, or sometimes you will see an outlet can actually, there are four pairs of wire could go into this. You could have two backstabbed hot wire, two side mounted, and then you will have four other neutrals here, and one could have been loose here too. So it fails either inside of the outlet when you backstab it, and you will usually notice it. It will become like dark, burnt out, or it will fail where you have this pigtailing connection Okay, 